Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore Bryce Canyon National Park. Let's go! Just east of the crossroads of Scenic Byway 12 and Scenic Highway 89 is Red Canyon, a part of the Dixie National Forest. The landscape of Red Canyon is identical to Bryce Canyon, but simply not as large. Incidentally, Bryce Canyon is just 12 miles further west of Red Canyon. We stopped to take some photos of the multiple short tunnels and arches along with a few rock formations and mountains. After 20 minutes of driving, we arrived at Bryce Canyon National Park. Going through the entrance, we first visit Sunrise Point. The rocks here are a reminder of tectonic activity that took place 15 million years ago, raising the Pont Sagant Plateau to its present elevation and dragging sections of rocks along the faults, resulting in the tilt we see today. Sunrise Point serves as the trailhead for the easy to moderate Queen's Garden Trail that descends into a section of hoodoos ruled by Queen Victoria Hoodoo. But wait, what is a hoodoo? A natural column of rock in western North America, often in fantastic form. Huh. We continued on the trail for a little while. We turned back once the weather started to look bad. Next, we went to Sunset Point. Sunset Point showed a different view compared to Sunrise Point. After snapping a few photos, we drove to Inspiration Point. The hoodoos at Bryce Canyon are carved in the Claren Formation, 
limestone, siltstone, dolomite, and mudstone make up the four different rock types that form the Claren Formation. Each rock type erodes at different rates. The rock's resistance to erosion is what causes the undulating shapes of the hoodoos. The steep sides of the amphitheaters and gullies in the canyon are due to the Peria River cutting into the upper Cretaceous and Claren formations from a lower elevation. The headward erosion of the Peria River created the canyon of Bryce Canyon National Park. It started to rain, so we hurried on to Bryce Point before the weather got any worse. We arrived at Bryce Point. Our current altitude is 8,300 feet. Bryce Point is really beautiful out of all the other points in my opinion. You can see not just the hoodoos, but other rock formations in different shapes. You can also see the rim trail walk. Finishing up at Bryce Point, we called it a day and left for Moab, Utah. You can see just how much the environment is changing throughout Interstate 70. During the evening, we took a break to see the stunning views of the mountains and the freeway during sunset. took a few photos and went on. You can see how the mountains continuously surround us. Anyways, that's it for day 3 and this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.